They are undoubtedly the scariest phenomena in the universe, and now it could turn out that black holes played a far greater role in the young universe than previously thought. A new astronomical record has now announced the incredible discovery of the oldest and most mysterious black hole in the universe. We have the ingenious new space telescope James Webb to thank for this discovery. Now we are faced with all important questions. Because it's possible that black holes existed in the universe long before the first stars and galaxies appeared. But how did these black holes form? And were they possibly already there before the Big Bang? Could black holes be the actual key components that are now revealing the whole truth about the universe to us? James Webb discovered a black hole on the cusp of the cosmic dawn so huge that all scientific theories cannot explain how it was created. This ultra-massive black hole has been setting new astronomical records ever since it was first discovered. It is well over 13 billion years old, so it certainly dates back to the early days of the universe and is so massive that it contains the mass of billions of suns. Researchers have located this incredible discovery in the center of a very old and no less mysterious galaxy. The fact that black holes operate at the center of galaxies is nothing new. But such a large galaxy and an ultra-massive black hole in the young universe are phenomena that should not actually exist. Not if we continue to believe in the Big Bang and the age estimated so far. Can the universe really only be 13.8 billion years old if such gigantic phenomena were already present in space 13.5 billion years ago? These discoveries go beyond our previous understanding of the formation and growth of black holes and galaxies and call the entire cosmology into question. How can massive black holes have grown so quickly? We previously assumed that it takes billions of years for black giants to grow to these enormous sizes. But apparently, that was wrong. James Webb is simply brilliant. Nobody expected this. As the construction costs for this telescope continued to skyrocket, it was already on the brink of collapse. In the US Congress, the project was called pure madness in the middle of the economic crisis and the money was described as a waste. However, the government stubbornly stuck to its plans and funded the telescope against all protests. In the end, the James Webb Space Telescope cost almost $11 billion. The costs were shared by the European ESA and the Canadian Space Agency. And as if to show that it was worth every dollar, this telescope is now showing us the universe in a way that will change everything. The very first image was a brilliant hit, showing us that we were simply wrong until now. Webb discovered the record-breaking black hole through the gravitational lens effect. A cluster of galaxies located spatially between us and the black hole acted like a naturally bent lens due to the deformation of space-time. The light from the black hole behind it and the galaxy GNZ 11 was amplified 50-fold. It's nothing short of a miracle that we are now able to capture light that has traveled to us from so far away. Imagine that this light traveled more than 13 billion years through space and time and then hit James Webb's observation mirror in the year 2023. Webb can capture these wafer-thin light signals thanks to a completely new and highly sensitive infrared technology and convert them into fantastic images. Thanks to Webb, new paths are now opening up for astronomy. Extremely distant and otherwise invisible objects in the universe are suddenly becoming tangible, and we can see for the first time what really happened in the universe 13 or 13.5 billion years ago. Why does the black hole glow? Are you wondering how James Webb can capture light from a black hole if they are actually invisible? Black holes are actually invisible. They are also not black, but transparent. Normally, we only recognize them because their weight causes them to bend space-time extremely. But black holes have another exciting property that makes them visible to us even at these enormous distances. The quote-unquote luminosity does not come from the fact that these giants emit light. According to the rules of physics, nothing comes out of black holes, not even light. But something does get into black holes. The light is produced as soon as matter such as stars, gas clouds, or interstellar dust comes into the vicinity of the black hole. Due to the strong gravitational force, all matter is attracted and then begins a spiral dance around the black hole. The process is a bit like water spiraling down the drain of your sink. Scientists call this process accretion, and the accretion disk around a black hole that is eating a meal can become so powerful 
that it outshines the brightest stars. Strictly speaking, the light is produced by the acceleration, friction, and compression of the matter that will disappear into the maw of the black hole, never to be seen again. This light is a real treasure trove for astronomers. The heating causes matter to glow intensely at different wavelengths. Each wavelength tells scientists details about the matter and elements that are being devoured here, and so, Thanks to Webb's fine sensors and special analysis algorithms, scientists can analyze exactly what is being disintegrated here. It sounds too crazy to be true, but black holes have even more massive eating habits, and jets are probably some of the craziest. You can probably already imagine the enormous forces at work in the accretion disk when entire stars are broken down into spaghetti-shaped structures. These processes sometimes produce powerful jets of radiation which are blown out of the center of a galaxy into the surrounding area as gigantic streams of particles. These jets reach almost the speed of light, and like the accretion disk, can shine brightly. We know of galaxies whose jets reach far beyond the boundaries of the galaxy into space. Researchers have found this inside the black hole. Unsurprisingly, there is now also a completely new insight into what goes on inside a black hole, and you will probably be quite surprised. Before we unravel the mystery, let's take a quick look at previous theory. Einstein's general theory of relativity predicted that a singularity exists at the center of a black hole, which is a tiny little point at which all physically measurable quantities go to infinity. It's therefore difficult for us to understand what a singularity really is. An interesting speculation would be that the sizes of the matter sucked in are dissolved by the singularity and that the values of the entangled matter, its heat, and acceleration inside the black hole also go to infinity. It became interesting when quantum mechanics postulated that black holes cannot completely destroy matter. The information that once formed matter must always be preserved. Stephen Hawking even proved that this information is stored in a previously unknown form on the event horizon surface and is probably partially released again by the superfine Hawking radiation. One thing is certain, black holes gain weight when they eat matter. Nevertheless, it's somehow difficult to imagine that the giants hoard digested stars or gas clouds in their interior. It's much more likely that only the information or a form of the basic matrix of matter is preserved. But what happens then? Researchers recently discovered the unbelievable. The extreme conditions in a black hole can enable the creation of a new universe within the black hole. This would mean that our universe may also have been created in a black hole or was born through a black hole. And now a gigantic black hole whose existence cannot be explained appears at the very beginning of our universe. Can you imagine what that means? It's possible that these extremely old black holes exist because they were there from the beginning or because the entire universe was created by them. This would clean up our cosmology from behind and we would be at the beginning of a completely new story about the origin and the true connections in our universe. It's true, an infinite number of universes. Let's look at the facts for a moment. We have a very old, very large black hole that according to ancient cosmology, shouldn't even exist. On top of that, James Webb discovered six other light sources that could be gigantic black holes. If this discovery proves to be true, these six might be even older and therefore even closer to the Big Bang. We now know that black holes may have been involved in the formation of our universe. This is where the most exciting theory of the renowned British astrophysicist Sir Roger Penrose comes into play. His conformal cyclic cosmology is abbreviated to CCC among experts and states that the universe is finite in time, but that it's constantly forming anew. At the end of a universe, one or a few black holes will have absorbed all matter. Then a moment of nothingness occurs and a new universe is born with a bang. So we would have an eternal chain of births, life and decay of one or, much more likely, several universes. This daring theory has been stirring up the world of astronomers and cosmologists since 2005, and now it has been given a boost by the findings of James Webb. These images may be the first evidence of the CCC theory. An interesting question is how Roger Penrose came up with the idea. According to his own statements, the theory of conformal cyclic cosmology emerged in the early 2000s, 
Although the scientist only presented his first detailed ideas in scientific circles when he had collected enough clues and possible evidence, Penrose promptly presented his CCC theory as a coherent answer to many unsolved problems and observations in cosmology. For example, he explained the extremely fine-tuned homogeneity of the universe that can be observed through the cosmic microwave background, and he explained the problem of dark matter and dark energy. Penrose also disagreed with the idea of cosmic inflation and presented other models in his new concept that are mathematically sound. Nevertheless, you can imagine that Penrose's idea still met with fierce resistance at the time. Those who protested the loudest against the idea of a constantly recreating universe were precisely the scientists who now stand in front of Webb's pictures with long faces and describe these clearly real galaxies and black holes as impossible. Webb's findings do not yet prove the CCC, but they do open the door to new ways of looking at things and completely new cosmological ideas. Become a subscriber now. There are many more exciting videos to come.